Hey y'all. Um, out here at, uh, well actually I'm out here in Pigeon Forge, but uh, I met these guys down at the uh, Shade Show and uh, they got two wicked, really cool street rods. And uh, they were nice enough to meet me back here at their resort and show them to me. And the uh, first one is a uh, Concept Camaro. It's, uh, I thought maybe it was started on a 69 Camaro, but he said now it's a one-off body, a lot of one-off parts in that uh, it really, it's not any year at all, so I know y'all are excited to see this. Dale's the owner of that one. Let me run him down, and uh, we'll take a look at this thing. Dale, how are you, brother? Hey, Scotty. How you doing, bud? Good. Tell me, uh, I'm in the sun. Stand a little bit over here, if you don't mind, so I can see your face. There you go. Tell me a little about your street ride. Uh, that's uh, what I consider is my concept of a Camaro today. Just okay. started from scratch, and uh, it's a one-off body. And we just went wild with it and said, what else can we do to make a Camaro too cool, too wicked, Over the top. Over the top. So what? now you say one-off body. What, did you start with a sheet of fiberglass or something? Uh, yeah, actually this was the first body that came out of Downs Manufacturing. It was the last one he produced before they shut down. So it was, you know, free reign, uh, something that just was supposed to be a stock body and said, what the heck, it's fiberglass, we'll cut it up and we'll do whatever we want with it. So did you draw out? Did you draw it out as a blueprint, or you just kind of go with the flow as things went along? Um, well, Eric Brockmeyer and I, who uh, does our design work out of Florida, he and I just kept throwing around ideas, and we just kept going wild with it. I was sitting in my truck going to lunch one day, and I saw a new BMW with a glass roof in it, and I called him up and I said, "Draw a glass roof in the damn thing." Yeah. So that's what we did. Cool. So is that glass or is that plexiglass? It's actually Lexan. Lexan. How sweet is that, guys? How long did it take you to build it? Uh, this car's got about 12,000 hours in it. It was a five-year build, and uh, we finished it up about a year ago. We're still trying to dial it in a little bit, and for the most part, it's um, it's just something so unique that people will walk up to it and go, what is it? Right. Which is what I wanted to accomplish. Right. I didn't want a belly button like no, everybody else has a 69 button. Camaro. Right. Well, what's funny about it is that um, when I saw it, I thought it was a Charger. Oh, everybody tries to Every, Yeah, and so then I looked at the tag, and it says, isn't it registered as a 69 Camaro? Absolutely. Yeah, so then I was then I was arguing with people at the show. I'm like, no, nah, that's a 69 Camaro. Look, it says on the tag. I know it looks like a Charger or something, right? So, no, dude, it's way bad. What wheels are you running at in the back? Uh, those are 20 by 13s, uh, another custom piece. There's maybe a handful of pieces that are store-bought. Everything right. else for this car has been made. What, do you all have a big machine shop or something? Or? Uh, we work with some guys that really just are uh, unbelievable. Greening Automotive, they just unbelievable. They're unbelievable with what their capabilities are. Yeah. So I did all the fiberglass work, and uh, or most of it, and Greening Auto did all the machining work, all the sheet metal, and they did the What work. sheet metal? Um, the only sheet metal in the car is on the interior right through here, and everything underneath the hood. That was all done by greening. Everything else is glass, which I mostly did the rockers, the front end treatment, the rear treatment. Uh, there's a bunch of machine parts in the front. So did you use a mold, or did you? How did you? How did you make the take the fiberglass and turn it into a body? Uh, I started with foam. The foam. whole dash, for example, started out as four blocks of uh, six-inch foam, and just kept, you know, sculpting it and sanding it down until I got the look I wanted. Same thing with the center console. That was all foam, and that was glassed over. The rear end, I cut the whole rear end, rear end of the car and uh, just started glassing it in. And then you put a, then you put a like, console through the roof too. No, those are just some uh, reinforcements to support the, the Lexan roof. Okay. Man, dude, that is the coolest. You did that before Mustang did it. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, this this car was rendered actually about four years ago. Right. Wow. Now you've been doing this a while. Yes, my father and I, um, we do it as a hobby. We uh, kind of dub Steuben Concepts, and uh, I think we're at, we have five Riddler contenders um, to our name. We've had a lot of pros picks, and we've had a couple of Street Route of the Year, um, you know, uh, whatever you want to call it, um, cars that could have made it, but they didn't. Right. And we've, we've had a lot of good uh, accolades from everything we've done. So Now, this car, is this car going to be the one that's going to be at SEMA? Yes, this car is going to SEMA next. Actually, it uh, goes on a transporter on uh, Friday. I'm sorry, on Monday. And it goes out west, and it does a little tour out there for a while, and then uh, it'll do SEMA, and then it'll go to Barrett Jackson in Scottsdale in January. Go across the block, see what we get. You're going to sell it at Barrett yep. Jackson? You got it. Is it going to go to no reserve? Absolutely. You're a gambler? Absolutely. Oh, man. You must have something else you want to build. Mm, we'll see. Yeah, <laughs> you're not going to quit now. <laughs> Come on, man.
And Holcomb did the interior. Oh, he did an awesome job on the car. See, subscribers and my fans are familiar with Holcomb and his interiors. Yep. So, folks, there you go. We got this. You're from New Jersey? Yeah, I'm from New Jersey. How'd you hear about Steve? I used to live in Kentucky, so uh, Steve Holcomb's been around many years, and uh, we actually had a problem with uh, another interior guy from Alabama that couldn't handle the car when we were ready to get, uh, get it finished. And so I tapped on Steve. I said, you got a week to do the car. Here's all the drawings. And he dug in, got it done, did an well, awesome job. He's crazy, isn't he? Yep. I mean, when it, the time frames you can give him to do something. And he doesn't shortcut nothing either. It always looks awesome. Seven days. He yeah. Did. What motor are you running in this? I've got a 454, 440 horse. Wow. Big block with a five-speed uh, trimming. I love that center exhaust, brother. It's big. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's very cool, though. I mean, man. And then, there again, and I'm not trying to insult you, but there again, that resembles the, the Challenger. Yeah, we did that many years before they came out. Right. So Dodge, actually, they're the ones that cheated off of you. Maybe, who knows. Huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> My buddy Dale's the one that showed Dodge how to make their car. And those wheels are one off, too. Yep. Open that driver's door, if you don't mind. Let's look inside there. Beautiful. Did you tell them colors and all that stuff? Holcomb? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we yeah. actually, I, I bought all the leather. Oh, okay. And you made that center console on that dash. Yep. Beautiful job, brother. Thank you. And I love the, the steel mesh and the, I guess those are air conditioned ducts. Absolutely. Yeah. I love the gauges, the custom one off gauges. Absolutely. You know it. Classic auto. Wow. They made them for you? Uh, Jesse cut the bezels and uh, they classic did all the instruments. And because report is what I do, people are going to want to know, and I'll be honest with you, that's just an excuse for me to ask. Should somebody get a crazy idea like this and want to build something, what's, a, got a, what's your budget for something like this? Uh, how honest do you want me to be? <sighs> well, I know I'm going to faint, so, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm going to take a stab. You just tell me if I'm high or low. I'm going to say 300 grand. You're low. No kidding. Half. No kidding. You're half of that. Holy That's smokes. That's what I for. That's not what I have in it. But yeah. I did a lot of the labor myself. Well, yeah, yeah. Head. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, you threw a bunch of hours in on that. Man, alive. I'm in the presence of royalty, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes. Well, let's look under that hood. Goodness gracious. Beautiful. Man. Who did all this? That was all done by Jesse Greening. Yeah. Greening Auto. Then again, these are your concepts, so these are your ideas. Uh, this was mostly all Eric Brockmeyer. Oh. He did a great job designing all this. So what'd he do? He'd draw something, send it to you, and you'd say, I like this, I yep. don't like that. Exactly. Change this, make this more that way. Yep. What are those wires for back there? Uh, that's actually a hinge pin for the um, for the hinge. Oh, so you can keep the hood up? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. And your radiator and all that stuff's up underneath oh, here? It's tucked underneath. Yeah. It doesn't run hot? Uh, 195. Well, well, it doesn't run hot. Have you done any kind of lapse times on it or anything? No, not yet. No? Yeah. And then you got LED lights around the front? Yep. That's beautiful. Can you turn those on for me? Sure. Hey, you can shut that hood. We're done there. Is that rubber or is that fiberglass, that nose? What do you mean? The bottom part of that nose. Oh, cool Start it for me if you don't mind. You gotta hear this thing run, right guys?
Dude, that is so awesome, man. Yeah, you know what? If over the top is what you were looking to accomplish, you darn sure did that. Yeah. And then I think we're all going to be excited to, to see what it brings at Barrett Jackson. That boy was just in. Didn't he come to a show to see? Is Sir? He, he, he came somewhere. The, one of the consigners or bidder buyers for Barrett Jackson, he was just at a show looking at another car, I think, that's going to be there. Was this here somewhere locally? No. No, just here. Okay. Yeah. Wow. What's the name of that color? Uh, root beer. And who makes it? Uh, that was BASF. Okay. Lazarus. Right. Wow. And those taillights and all are custom. They obviously, all custom. yeah, all custom, man. And actually, you probably can't tell it, but this is all Lexan, and the paint is... Oh, really it high. is, yeah. No, I didn't, would have never noticed that if you didn't tell me. Wow, that's really cool touch. Anything else I'm missing? Because really, I'm overwhelmed by the car. I'll be honest with you, Dale. I mean... Uh, we pocketed the thing. So yeah, yeah, let me see that. Because that is very cool, and it's something you wouldn't necessarily notice. And, of course, that's cool, too, right? See, what he's done is ending, put an indentation so that wing fits down in that fender so it sits all flush. Wow, you got a stereo in it? Yeah, but I don't have a good CD. No, no, we don't want, no, I, no, I can't have you turn it on. I was just wondering, I didn't see any subs yeah, or no amps subs or anything. Right there. Oh, okay. The amps are all behind there. All hidden, cleaned up. Yeah, nice job. Wow. Dude. You know, if you've ever been to my channel, which you haven't, but when you go, you'll see I shoot hot rod after Scotty, hot rod. I look at your channel every week, man. <laughs> I appreciate that, Dale. Um, you, you know then, you know then, that I see some of the finest hot rods in Absolutely. the world. And uh, this is darn sure at the top, man. Thank you, bud. Dude, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you giving me a time to look at it. I appreciate you looking at it. No, Dale, thanks so much. Folks, there you go. That's uh, Dale's concept something. <laughs> I don't even want to call it a Camaro because I don't think it's a Camaro. I mean, it's just a one-off <sighs> something. Of yeah, a work of art, man. I mean, it just leaves me, you know, leaves me without words, you know. And look at these ducks here. And I'm guessing those probably aren't there just for looks, are they? Actually, that one is for looks. Really? <laughs> that figures. <laughs> for all the engineers that went in the car, right? <laughs> I'm likely to put my foot in my mouth, and there we go. <laughs> no, I appreciate that. Brother, that is very cool, man. Very, very cool. Dale, again, thanks so much. Thank you to Scotty TV. All right, brother. Folks, there you go. One off, something or another. Dale's. It's very cool. Hope you all have enjoyed it. Have a good day. See ya.